There was once a wise old Sith who said, Knowledge is power. Do you want to find out who? Ever since we first saw the Sith Temple on Malachor way back in Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, I've wondered who was inside the Sith holocron Ezra was carrying. Your anger gives you strength, gives you focus. Known simply as the Presence, there have been hints as to who this Sith Lord is within the Holocron, as well as hints toward them being the one at the heart of the Temple's design. But for folks like you and me who like to apply the threads of canon info across the years, we can come up with some pretty strong conclusions as to who was inside that Holocron. Because that's what we do here at Star Wars Sublight. It's amazing what you miss when traveling at light speed, so we like to slow it down and take a look at all the finer details of a galaxy far, far away. If that sounds like a bit of you, then why not subscribe to the channel? so we can do this more often. Following the mind-blowing season finale titled Twilight of the Apprentice, Star Wars Rebels series producer Dave Filoni provided a tiny glimpse into what the Presence was doing on Malachor. He said in a behind-the-scenes interview that in his mind, the voice of the Presence is the voice of the ancient Sith Lord who built the Malachor Temple. And this temple isn't just a hot meeting place for Sith. Like all evil hideouts throughout galactic history, it doubles as a super weapon. Filoni said back in 2016 that while he knew the name of the presence he had chosen not to reveal it to fans what this is outrageous it's unfair so then who built the Melkor temple that would remain a mystery for years until the release of the 2018 source book dawn of rebellion this role-playing source book introduces a sith witch who led the sith military forces during the great scourge of Melkor. the ground looks scorched this was a battlefield The Great Scourge was a battle between the old Sith Empire and ancient Jedi Order sometime around 4,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. We're talking way, way before anything entered in galactic history in established canon so far, around 3,500 years before even Phase 1 of the High Republic. Having discovered the super weapon and its ability to petrify living creatures, the Jedi invaded the Sith world of Malachor in an attempt to occupy the massive temple resting it from Sith control. But during the siege, the weapon was activated and unintentionally fired, <laughs> turning Jedi and Sith alike to stone. The sourcebook reveals one last victim of the Malachor weapon, the witch commanding the Sith Empire's forces. And it's not too far a canonical leap to assume this witch commander and the weapon's architect are one and the same. But the real question still remains, who exactly was she? Following the Dawn of Rebellion sourcebook came the Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary in 2019. Within this reference book is the name of the Malachor Weapons architect, Darth Tannis. The Visual Dictionary described the Kyber technology developed and harnessed by Dark Lord Tannis on Malachor. The Dictionary also tells us that the Sith Eternal honoured Darth Tannis millennia after she was destroyed. They named their 17th Legion of Darth Sidious's Final Order military Tannis Legion. As with other legions, its namesake was an ancient Sith Lord, the significance of which was known only to the Sith Eternal loyalists. So let me know what you think. Between the Visual Dictionary, the source book, and Dave Filoni's interview, do you think the witch commanding the Sith Empire's armies is the same Darth Tannis who developed the super weapon on Melkor? And if so, is this Dark Lord the same Sith who uploaded a version of her consciousness into the Sith Holocron? As always, thank you so much for watching and remember, if you're the Sith Architect of Destruction or just the poor witch who accidentally pulled the trigger, the Force will be with you. Always. Now, what else do you desire?